So to our last final of the day, it's mixed doubles. It's the world and Olympic champions Zhang Nang and Zhao Yunlei from China up against the defending All England champions Tantoe Akman and Liliana Natsia of Indonesia. So let's go down courtside now to Howard Bentham and get the players into the arena. the former All England champions, the current world champions, the current Olympic champions. Chang Nan and Zhao Yunlei of China. The defending champions from 2012. What emotional scenes 12 months ago when they beat the former world champions Thomas Leiborn and Camilla Rutiul in the mixed doubles final. So both these pairs appearing in their second All England final. The Indonesians, of course, second consecutive. Whereas the World and Olympic champions, Zhang Nan and Zhao Yunlei, winners of this title in 2010 when they came through the qualifying rounds to eventually lift the trophy. So last year's champions, Tantoi Akhmad, the 25-year-old from Banyumas in uh, southwest of central Java. Liliana Natsia playing in her fourth All England final, the 27-year-old from Manado in the north of North Sulawesi. Their win-loss record for the year prior to this All England was a quarter-final at the Korean Super Series. But the world number twos have had a super tournament here in Birmingham. Tough old match in their quarter-final against the European champions Robert Matuziak and Nadia Zeba from Poland. And what a thriller it was in the semi-final against a brother and sister pair of Marcus Kido and Pierre Bernadette. It really was an absolute thriller, 21-19 in the deciding game. So they've been stretched, stretched all the way in their last two matches. So to the Chinese combination, Zhang Nan turned 23 just nine days ago. Zhao Yunlei, 26. And as you can see, their world ranking at five. They have been world number ones. 82 weeks they spent as world number ones. And as I was saying, won this event in 2010 as qualifiers. Only tournament played so far this year was the Korean Super Series. They won that. But they had to battle extremely hard in their quarterfinal which was against Afan Kuniawan and Shani Puspa Irawati of Indonesia. 
Now, of course, only one seeded pair that they've had to play on their way through to today's final, and that was their semi-final. Uh, number seven seeds, Mohamed Rajal and Debbie Susanto. So both these pairs appearing in their second All England final, obviously for the Indonesians as defending champions, second consecutive final. This the seventh meeting between these two pairs, and as you can see, the reigning world and Olympic champions, Jiang Nan and Zhao Yun Lei, have the advantage having won four of their previous six encounters, but perhaps most significant was the last meeting. It was the Indonesians that won beating the Chinese pair in the semi-final of the Denmark Open last year. So Liliana Natsia appearing in her fourth All England final. Getting this mixed doubles underway. Former partner with whom she was beaten twice in this All England final, Nova Widianto, sitting on the coach's bench. Well, I thought that Zhao Yun Lei was looking a little bit sluggish in her women's doubles final. No doubt that the coaches have had her on the practice court, making sure she's a little sharper for the start of this mixed doubles. Yeah, and she certainly is. Well, for the Chinese pair, their Indonesian opponents are the fourth consecutive Indonesian pair they've played in this year's tournament. Well, the Indonesians are trying to become the first pair to retain a mixed doubles title since the Chinese combination of Jingbo and Gao Ling in 2007 and 2008. Now, Anthony, obviously we've watched mixed doubles all week and you've talked extensively about how important the woman's role is in mixed doubles, how she's got to control the front of the court. Do you see this final as a, as a clear battle between the two women as to who's going to really dominate the match? Absolutely. The, the, the ladies in mixed doubles are like the playmakers. They're the ones at the front in the firing line. You know, a real contrast in styles between the two women. Liliana Natsia very, very skillful, likes to play a lot of net shots, but doesn't generally be as aggressive as her opponent, Zhao Yun Lei. She likes to come flying forwards, always looking to kill the shuttle. So it's a great contrast and be interesting to see who comes out on top of that battle because whoever's on the attack is going to be the winner. Oh, my goodness, round the back shot from Tantoi Akamad. Oh, it does have a tendency at times to be a bit of a showboater on court. And he's really focused and really concentrated. It's obviously a world-class player. War service fault called. Struck above the waist, says service judge Giappini from Italy. 
Mm, it was a super return too, wasn't it, from Liliana Natsia. There's Nova Widianto on the left. Liliana Natsia's former partner. Yeah. Won two world titles together. 2005 and 2007. Short. Oh, my goodness. Well, Indonesians having to hit three more shots than, than I think they probably expected. Although Zhao Yunlei miss hit the very first smash, she does possess an incredible defence. You know, all the four players do defend very, very well, but when the shuttle is as short as it was, chances of getting three, four, five back, very, very difficult. That's a very clever smash from Ahmed. You know, we're used to seeing the men trying to go hard towards the ladies. He's caught Zhang Nan off guard. Yeah, softer pace. Just mixing it up. And I think, Anthony, that's really where this man has matured in the last two or three years since he's been playing with Liliana Natsi. When I first saw him play, I thought he was tactically very naive, but he's improved considerably. He thinks more about his placement now. He was always very, very fast. When I first saw him come onto the tour, I did think, not sure quite why they've put these two together, knowing how good Nova Widianto was in the past. But like you say, the more and more he's played and learnt from Liliana Nats here, he's using stop drops, angle slices, and then combining it with the big power as well. Well, that was a run of six straight points. Very, very sharp from Zhao Yunlei, who in this mixed doubles is appearing in her sixth All England final. The fifth was the first final of the day. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, when he taps his head, he knows he played the wrong shot at the wrong time. Don't normally see Zoe Lay missing those. That was, I mean, you couldn't get an easier put away. It's just lack of concentration for that split second. Well, great anticipation from Liliana Natsia. Forcing Zhao Yunlei to try and attempt a defensive shot between the legs. Oh, that's a super angle. Sliced across the feathers of the shuttle. And that creates extra spin. And the extra spin brings the shuttle down a lot quicker, creating the angle. That is absolutely fabulous. So to the mid-game interval with a 
five point advantage. And nine of the last 11 points going the Indonesian's way. China has been experimenting with the mixed doubles partnerships. Zhang Nang and Xiao Yunlei haven't been playing regularly together. They've tried out Zhang Nang with Tang Xinghua. And Xiao Yunlei has played a couple of tournaments with the winner of the men's doubles. Chu Si Han. And I just wonder, Anthony, if that's changing of partnerships and a little bit of experimenting. I can understand why the coach would do that, because sometimes partnerships get a little bit stale and therefore just to have a couple of tournaments with somebody else brings back the sparkle again. But I wonder in a way if it's disturbed the, the rhythm and the understanding between Zhang Nang and Xiao Yunlei. It could definitely do so. I mean... You know, the coaches will decide who is going to play the tournaments with who. I think sometimes a good idea. It gives the younger players, the inexperienced players, a chance to play with a great partner like both of these two. But like I say, if you're not playing those tournaments week in, week out with one another, there can be that timing issue, that understanding of who's taking what shot, what shot to play and what to look for, because every different player has a different way of hitting certain shots. Yes, of course, you've got to also add into the dynamic the fact that Zhang Nang and Zhao Yunlei are very close off-court as well. So if the on-court partnership has been sort of tampered with, then, you know, all these issues come into how you feel when you're back into the major tournament, the All England, and you're expected to produce your best. Just starting to see Zhang Nan getting his feet moving a lot more now. I thought out of the four players, he was the one that was slowest out of the blocks. He was static on defence, was just lifting the shuttles away a lot more. But now, he, at the, after the turn, it looks like he's got his A game out. Yeah, they're really, really pressurising Zhao Yunlei. Great anticipation at the net from Natsir. Reading the game so well. That's the understanding in mixed doubles. If you know where your partner's going to smash, you can look for the, the percentage reply. Yeah, it's super, isn't it? It's just these little guided shots. You, as you were saying, she doesn't look as spectacular as her opponent, but my goodness, she has that reading and understanding of the game and where to place the shuttle. It's almost like she can hold the, the shuttle on the strings to wait for an opponent to move and then very quickly flick it down. Yeah, there's the attacking pressure on Zhao Yunlei once again. And the defending champions have opened up a five-point cushion. It's been really clever as well, Ahmed. He's not just going on Zhao Yunlei, he's varying it to both players so that she can't settle. And eventually he's finding the hip, the right hip of Zhao Yunlei, and she, she isn't reading those at all.
Oh, my goodness, another one between the legs there. And this is, I'm sure, going to make Indonesian fans a little bit nervous because the number of times I've seen Tantoi Akhmad in good winning positions and then tries to be a little fancy with some of his play and loses his concentration. But it was good to see him in that rally. That was a wonderful kill. Made it look easy, but I can assure you it wasn't. Look, oh, the shuttle's gone past him. Control the racket head there was very, very good. Chinese need to make a bit of an instatement and in, of intent to attack a lot more. They're just giving the the attack to the Indonesians too easily. You know, this pair when, when they're on the attack and Ahmed's moving around as quickly as he is, are just too good in that area. Yeah, good judgment there too. And the number two seeds, two points away from this opening game. Oh, that's nice. Never really got behind it. It's a good flick serve. Oh, there's the confusion. And that, I am certain, stems from the fact that they haven't been playing all tournaments together. That was very strange indeed. You know, it looked like Zhang Nan should have come forwards. His partner Zhang Nan was at the back. He needed to have come forwards just to cover the front of the court. But again, his feet are static. Game point opportunities. That's a miss hit from Zhang Nan. And the defending champions close out the opening game in comfortable style, 21-13. Well, all credit to the Indonesians, because I have to say, they were very sharp, they were playing the game they wanted to play, and their reward was a comfortable opening game, 21-13 in 15 minutes. Well, Zhang Nang and Zhao Yunlei, after their coaches left them, still deep in conversation about what they should be trying to do to turn this match around. In all honesty, I thought that uh, Tantoi Akhmad and Liliana Natsia were just so impressive in that opening game. Anthony, you were saying that the Chinese pair had got to stop allowing the Indonesians to attack. 
how do you do that? Easier said than done, of course, but tactically, what have you got to try and do? Well, we all know that Zhang Nan is quite a casual player. He likes to stroke the shuttles around, but he needs to be more aggressive, step forward that little bit and use the net more. If you're going to allow your partner to be aggressive on the net, you've got to play it to the net. You know, every point we're seeing him lift away, Zhao Yun Lai, the most aggressive killer of the shuttle in the game, and she's barely been at the net. In this rally, Zhang Nang barely getting a hit of the shuttle. Well, there's the attacking play on Zhao Yunlei once again. I wonder if the Indonesian coaches, I'm sure they probably were, were down here for the first final of the day, possibly watching Zhao Yunlei. It was quite obvious that she was not at her best form in the women's doubles. And they've decided to pressurise her. That's definitely good advice, isn't it? Take advantage of the weaker player. You know, if we were talking that way at the Olympics last year, that would have been absurd. But like you say earlier in the ladies' double, she was poor. And so far, they are playing her all around the court. Yeah, well, unbeatable in the Olympics last year. That's not strictly true, is it? Because, of course, Zhao Yunlei and Tiang Ching lost one of their group matches in the women's doubles. But, of course, she ended up winning both the women's doubles gold and the mixed doubles gold. First badminton player ever to win two golds in the same Olympic Games. Oh, that's perfect placement of the smash once again. This time aimed at Zhang Nan. Still Zhang Nan easily giving the lift away, though. You know, I felt like he could have played the net there again. He's just too happy to lift. Good rally. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's landed in. What a rally. Both pairs vying for the attacking play.
Oh, total miss hit there from Xiao Yunlei. Came off the frame of her racket, but they all count. Just not used to seeing that from Xiao Yunlei. Like, she wasn't really ready. She just poked her racket at it. Normally used to seeing her just taking them off the top of the tape. Oh, service fault called. Well, Zhao Yunlei really getting very frustrated. Well, I think the service judge indicated that the racket wasn't pointing in a downward direction. Zhang Jun puzzled. Oh, my goodness. That is absolutely superb. I mean, probably Liliana Natsia was the only person in the whole of this stadium that believed that she could intercept that one. How she read that was unbelievable. You know, like you say, she knew where that was going before anybody else on the court. It, she just has this ability to read the game of badminton. She isn't the quickest player out there, not by a long stretch, but when you're standing. Is that an innate ability or is that something you coach to, to make people understand and read the game like that? There's a certain element that you can coach into a player to understand what shots are possible from a certain situation. But, you know, certain great players just have that ability to just be able to read a situation much, much better than anybody else. Oh, that's a good return. Well, we always talk, don't we, Anthony, about the serve, the return of serve in the third shot and the importance of that in all three doubles disciplines. And that was exemplified quite beautifully in that rally. It's almost like a set play, isn't it? The return of serve from Natsir, nicely played down the tram line. Ahmed knows that the reply has to come straight, so he pushes right up the court and hits the open gap. Oh, yeah. Super angle again. Well, last year, when they won this title, we were each given a bonus of 2 million rupiah, which is just under 22,000 US dollars. And I understand that their national federation has just introduced two months ago. They said that they were going to have the most valuable player of the year each year, and they were going to get 1 billion rupiah in bonus, so that's over a hundred thousand US dollars. Yeah. That's called cool goods, and quite frankly, the way they're playing at the moment, the Indonesians, they look very valuable indeed. They do. Everything that they do at the moment is absolute perfection. I mean, Akbar's finding the lines on angles, he's varying the attack, playing a very, very clever game of mixed doubles. Just missed it, just long. Still read the game so well, Liliana Natsir. Yes, she missed on this occasion. She just knows exactly what the Chinese are going to do on every occasion.
Yeah, finally, she's getting forward to the net, Zhao Yunlei. Yeah, not surprised. The umpire is having a little word with Zhao Yunlei. Aggressive gesture after winning the rally. Girish Natu of India, our umpire. Yeah, good attacking play and interesting that uh, Tantoi Akmad very happy to allow his partner to play from the back of the court while he just stood his ground at the front. No attempt to move to the back. He knows that Liliana Natsir is a very strong, capable player from the back of the court. She won a couple of Super Series titles in women's doubles. Apart from the nine, she's won in mixed doubles. Well, certainly the way the Indonesians have played this final They've been in absolutely great form, and it is lovely to see, isn't it, Anthony? Because I felt very much that after the Olympic Games, when they lost that bronze medal playoff match, so ended up fourth, the most desperate position for any athlete to fin finish in an Olympic Games. And I felt they had a real psychological slump, which obviously affected their, their game and their results, but they're back playing to their very best. They are in this tournament. Couldn't agree more. Like you say, I... I was at the Olympics and I saw the devastation on their faces when they lost the semi-final to know they weren't going to be able to play for the gold and in the third, fourth playoff, almost uninterested in the position they were going to finish in, but massive psychological effect after that tournament. Yeah, I think in a way that's a bit harsh because I think they were desperately trying but just had no... Uh, ability to lift themselves out of the emotional quagmire that they were in after losing that semi-final against Zhu Chen and Ma Jin because they'd been in a winning position and that I think is something they've got to be careful of right now because I see the Indonesians in a winning position they've played great so far but they mustn't take their foot off the pedal if they want to retain their title. Yeah, quite happy for Liliana to be at the back again. Just wide. But in all honesty, most of the time you'd say that's a sound tactic, wouldn't you, to get the, the lady to the back of the court, pressurise her at the back. She can't hit through you from the back of the court. And that gives you options to work your opponents before then switching the defensive play into attack yourselves. Of course, a great tactic to get such a great net player like Lin Lian Natsir away from that area. But being a bit naive for me, the Chinese, because they keep going through Ahmed at the net or in front of him at the net, and he's so competent in those areas. You know, I almost want to see a cross block into the open gap to then get the attack back. Well, Liliana Natsir did awfully well to react to the net cord. Yeah, directing her partner, which is very much the commander. But having had a six-point advantage at one stage, 
now just a two-point cushion as far as the Indonesians are concerned. No serve is short of the mark. Deflected by hitting the top of the tape on its way through. Akamaz's return of serve has been incredible so far. The amount of net cords he's actually produced off the return. I think Zhang Nan very wary of that. It's just left that one short. Oh, that is a fabulous backhand. Virtually no follow through from the racket. Look at this. Flick. That's it. Flat over the net, deep into the back corner. Great technique. Yeah, well, once again showing the clenched fist to her opponents. It's better to see those iron like coming in, being aggressive above the net cord. That's a wonderful shot, isn't it? Defense. Oh. Oh, well. I think the Chinese pair might be wise if they're going to smash to smash a Tantawi Akmad because I think the quality of Liliana Natsi's defensive play is just extraordinary. Couldn't agree more. When I was playing against Liliana Natsi, it's almost folly to smash at her. You know it's coming back, and it's coming back with interest. You're better off going for the stop drop in front of her or angle it towards the man. Yeah, clever placement of the attacking shot from Liliana Natsir at the back of the court. Forced the short lift and then Tantoi Akaman able to leap into the air from that mid-court area. Thunder down the smash. Interesting aiming once again to Zhang Nang's forehand side. Definitely they've worked out a tactic that that is a weakness. And Zion Lay's defense is good, but keeping the variation makes a big difference. Yeah, super backhand from Tantoi Akmad. But not only the technique of hitting that, the vision to see that's where the gap was. The gap across court. And it was going in a downward direction. Yeah, he didn't try to over hit the shot either. They didn't try to hit it too hard, which meant that he could get it that bit steeper. Yeah, great technique, racket arm outstretched, virtually no backswing of the racket. Simple little tap and the shuttle goes in a downward direction.
tackle good. Oof. Well, the umpire has made a correction. Yep, and he was right to do so. Line judge called it good. Good overall from Girish Natu. Yeah, good return. I have to say the serve wasn't the best from Zhang Nan. But two points away now from their second consecutive title. Oh, perfect return of serve. That's better from the Chinese, twisting, turning, the odd soft shot. And a very good put away in the end. Yeah, just finding out whether the shuttle was indeed changed. Fifteen nineteen. Oh, oh, I don't believe it. Two neck awards. That's much better from Zion Lei, though. That's the kind of aggressive nature I'm so used to seeing from her. Look, going for it straight away. How she managed to deal with that neck cord was Oh, brilliant. Halved the six point deficit. Now oh, just three points in it. Well, Definitely understand the theory behind that. Zhao Yunlei wanting to block the shuttle, fo follow forward to the net. But she made the error, and it now means that the defending champions have four match point opportunities to retain their title. First one well saved by Zhao Yunlei. They've done it. Retain their title. Tantoi Akmar done Liliana Natsi. 21-13, 21-17. And they have defeated the reigning world and Olympic champions. Well, they simply didn't allow the Olympic champions to play their normal game, and that's all credit to the Indonesians. Very, very focused throughout the Indonesians. Played better in today's final than I think they've played all week. And that's what you should be doing in any competition.
do enough to get through round after round and save your best till last. Absolutely tremendous performance by Tantoi Akmad and Liliana Natsia. 21-13, 21-17 in 42 minutes.